Alright, so here's the uh, agreement. It's not very easy to read. I'm a little slow with recording, but I just had a couple of retiree guys right up in a golf cart asking me if I had a flat. I took a look at their their golf cart and it says Boise City Police Volunteers. I could volunteer four hours doing that, <laughs> driving around in a golf cart like that. I talked to a lady who uh, helps with community service that's uh, required for offenders. It has to be mandated. You have to be required to do community service to get the uh, contact lists for the community um, volunteering agencies because mine is like a voluntary thing for four hours. I'm on my own and finding somewhere to um, volunteer for. I'm getting this weird popping sound in my pedal. I believe it's the pedal and not the crank. I'm not 100% sure though. This is one of my strangest finds, but when I was about to use a urinal in the park uh, the, near the zoo, as I was going to the uh, the courthouse, I, f I, uh, I was about to pee in the urinal, and I saw this bag sitting in there, alright, and it was dark in the urinal, uh, I pulled it out and started sniffing it, uh, and then looked inside and saw the Garmin. And the plug-in, the plug-in's only for the car though. I just plugged it in and it turns on and everything. So it works for turning on. I guess the next thing is to find out if, if uh, the, the GPS part of it works or not. Uh, but, oh, you know, I should go back for that top. There's an end that connects to this ball. And I left it in the bathroom and somebody kind of put it up on top of a stall because I went back there a second time. I assumed it wouldn't work, and now that it does, I should probably go back for that. Let me just add that I got a bad attitude towards Garmin. That's why I don't even use the one I have. It's just buried under my trash. You know, I think a lot of other people might have the same attitude since they're throwing them in urinals. Because they don't, um, the Garmin doesn't, like like collaborate with anybody all right Garmin has to completely control every part of its operation all right and it's failing it uses up way too much battery life and completely relies on GPS when it could um, also use cell phone towers as well all right maybe to save on electricity because my iPad is a lot better than that Garmin I much prefer it over Garmin because it seems like cell phone towers pick up GPS, pick up my location a lot faster than the GPS can pick me up. Yes, the GPS can pick me up practically anywhere and the uh, iPad is limited to only select large cities like such as Salem or Olympia or, or Boise, uh, but still, I can, I can still look at the the Google Maps and and f look for where I'm at at least instead of Garmin the Garmin Maps struggling to find me I just had a meal of eight bars of these things I'm not very I'm not very proud of myself got them from the food bank 10 sugar to 9 fiber okay yeah the fiber is high but the sugar is too much it should be one sugar 
to nine fiber. So I'm gonna get fat off of this, but it's very addicting. I took it because it was free and it said fiber on it. Stupid me. Chicory root extract. There's some interesting ingredients in there, but man, do they pile on the sugar way too much. Oh, I ripped my sandal. Well, just stumbling, trying to cross the street in a weird way. I think I'd be way too scared to sit on the top rows of that. The way they overhang and stuff. Seems too scary. Okay, so I found the GPS in this urinal, but it was dark. Um, and then this piece was like laying on the ground. But I came back here and it was gone, so I just decided to take a peek in this garbage and I was laying at the bottom. So I'm glad they only threw it away in the garbage can. This thing is uh, needed for, uh, if you wanted to set it up for uh, the car. So the free animals to look at are the, the geese next to the zoo and some various ducks. If you don't want to pay to, to get on the other side, there's geese all over to look at for free.